Hi everyone, welcome to Dentazen. There is a soft tissue present in the center of the tooth that is called pulp, but there is another soft tissue around the tooth. What is that tissue? Let me give you a picture to take the hint. So this is a kite. It has a string attached to it. That string is attached to ground on the other end. Now this is a sheep. It is also attached to ground with the help of a rope. So like this kite and sheep, they are attached to strong base that is ground with the help of a rope. Similarly, our tooth is also attached to a strong base of alveolar bone with the help of rope-like structure, which is called periodontal ligament. Perio means around, dental means tooth, ligament means attachment. So it is something which surrounds the tooth and attaches it to the bone. So it is made up of fibers. So it is a fibrous tissue. One end of these fibers is embedded in the cementum and the other end is in the alveolar bone. So this periodontal ligament, the main function is the attachment of the tooth to the bone. Now it along with the gingiva which lies above the periodontal ligament, cementum and alveolar bone, it supports the tooth. It makes the support system of the tooth how whenever there are masticatory stresses these structures they adapt themselves to meet those functional requirements so we can say these four structures gingiva and pdl alveolar bone and cementum these four to all together they are known as periodontium periodontium important viva question now like pulp which is a soft tissue which has so many things inside it similarly pdl also has so many things inside it what are these things cells fibers ground substance blood vessel nerves so let's get to know most important components of pdl today in this video so let's start before starting quickly subscribe to dentozen and also give a like to this video as i keep making such interesting and informative videos for you so we will cover this topic first in periodontium definition that which can be important by a question and also part of your long question then periodontal ligament then in most important short note that can be cells of periodontal ligament fibers of pdl which can be long question and amongst fibers there will be principal fibers of pdl which can also be long question so we are going to cover first two in this video then we'll cover the cells of pdl in next video and fibers and principal fibers in the third video so don't forget to watch all the videos so let's start periodontium as we have seen there are four tissues so all these are connective tissues so they form the connective tissue organ and the, the above that they have epithelium and what is their main role that is attachment of the tooth so that is the first part of the definition that periodontium is a connective tissue organ covered by epithelium and it attaches teeth to the bone of the jaws now what is the second part of the definition what is the second function of the periodontium it supports the tooth during its function how by showing adaptive capacity so that is the second part it provides a continually adapting apparatus which keeps on adapting itself for support of the teeth during function so you can remember the definition of periodontium by dividing it into two parts now what are the two hard tissues and two soft tissues of periodontium that can be viva question two hard tissues what do you think are cementum and the part of the bone which lies the alveolar socket so that is the bone lining the tooth socket that is called alveolar bone so cementum these are two hard tissues or two mineralized tissue what are the two soft tissues periodontal ligament and that part of the gingiva which is towards the tooth that is called dentogingival junction so that is viva question two hard tissues two soft tissues now periodontal ligament perio is to surround dental is tooth and ligament is from latin word ligare or ligament which means to attach so simply it is something that surrounds the tooth and it attaches the tooth so it is a soft specialized connective tissue it is richly vascular where is it present it is present between cementum and alveolar bone between two heart tissues and coronally it extends to the most apical part of the lamina propria of gingiva lamina propria is connective tissue so up, up till here that is connective tissue of gingiva and below at the apical foramen it becomes continuous with the dental pulp here so that that those are the extents of periodontal ligament now what is the origin of pdl where are these cells and fibers are coming from these cells are derived from the dental follicle or dental sac along with the bone and the cementum pdl is also getting formed from dental follicle and dental sac as we discussed in the tooth development now other names of pdl various names have been given in the past which can be viva question like desmodont desmo means fibrous gomphosis was a type of joint then pericementum around the cementum then dental periosteum outermost layer of tooth alveolo dental ligament alveolo bone dental tooth ligament and periodontal membrane 
so all these are the other names of pdl but periodontal membrane and periodontal ligament are more commonly used but neither of them is considered appropriate but pdl is, ligament is used more often so what is the shape of this pdl what do you think it is wide here becoming narrow here and again becoming wide so don't you think it looks like this so what is this shape this is called our glass appearance that is important viva question and interest question so where do you think it is thinnest so it is thinnest in the middle region yes so it is narrowest or thinnest at the mid root region another important viva or interest question now another question can be what is the width of pdl it is 0.25 mm but usually it is in the range of 0.15 to 0.38 mm now this periodontal ligament can get thinner if it is insufficiently stimulated that means if we do not use teeth on one side for function this pdl may become thinner may lost its function now radiographic appearance of pdl how it appears on the radiograph like pulp pdl is also a soft tissue pulp appears as a radiolucent area as you can see here similarly pdl also appears as radiolucent area that is dark area on the radiograph but where this area this called space it is present between the root of the tooth as you can see here and the minor dura the minor dura is this white line this is a radiographic appearance only so this space periodontal ligament space this its width on radiograph is very important the width of this pdl space may decrease that is called thinning of pdl or it may increase that is called widening of pdl so thinning and widening of pdl can occur in different diseases so based on the radiographic appearance we can predict the underlying disease now the important term important part that is composition of pdl mainly it is made up of cells and extracellular matrix that is matrix in between the cells so five important cells which are present in pdl synthetic cells which form something so these are fibroblasts osteoblasts cementoblasts fibroblasts forms fibers osteoblasts form bones cementoblasts form cementum so all these cells are present in pdl so if synthetic cells are there resorptive cells also will be there which degrade all these things now the collagen fibers they are formed by fibroblasts as well as degraded by fibroblasts so fibroblast is Self is the synthetic cell as well as resorptive cell for collagen fibers that can be viva question but for bone and cementum it is different for bone the resorptive cell is osteoclast for cementum the resorptive cell is cementoclast now the third type of cells are progenitor genitor which give genesis which give birth to new cells so these cells divide and form new cells to replace the dying cells now the rest of malase as the word says rest they are inactive cells so they are the rest of the hertwig epithelial root sheath which forms root their remains their remnants remain in the periodontal ligament which are called rest of malase and the fifth type of cells are defense cells of pdl which can be mast cells macrophages and eosinophils so those are the five cell types of pdl which we'll discuss in detail in the next video now extracellular matrix is made up of fibers and ground substance now there are so many fibers in the pdl collagen fibers sharpies fibers intermediate plexus elastic fibers reticular fibers secondary fibers and indifferent fiber plexus so we are going to discuss all these fibers in the third video ground substance can be proteoglycans glycoproteins and glycosamine glycans so don't forget to watch the second and the third video now let's check what have you learned about the periodontal ligament so where thickness of pdl is how much shape of pdl where is it thinnest two hard tissues of periodontium two soft tissues of periodontium what are the five cells of pdl so that is all for this video if you really enjoyed the video do tap on the like button and share this video with your friends keep watching keep smiling keep learning and good luck for your exam see you in the next video on cells of pdl soon till then take care bye bye